We have a brand. New York has a brand. And when people see it, it means something. You know, when we go there, it's not, a, Kansas doesn't have a brand. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, when you go there, you're okay, you're from Kansas. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> but New York has a brand. Hey guys, what's going on? Sean of Third Willify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So we have some breaking news or some unexpected news. I don't know. It's, maybe it's just news. I don't know. But Eric Adams, the mayor of New York City, you know, the guy who's like, New York City, we've it's got a brand. New York City, it's got a brand. Yeah, your brand is like migrants, women being randomly punched in the side of the head for no reason while they're walking down the street, and the mayor becoming the first sitting mayor to be indicted by a grand jury in a historic federal probe. That's my brand. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's what's happening. It's, uh, cor I think corruption is, is, is what the, the, the basis of this. Can you imagine, can you imagine a New York city mayor being corrupt? Who would have ever thought that was a thing? I'm just saying. New York City, I thought it was uh I thought it was all squeaky clean. Apparently, it's filled with crooks. So from the New York Post. The New York Post is really the only appropriate place, I think, to get such a story. So Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted by a grand jury on charges connected to a federal uh, probe that has shaken his administration. Um sources told the post. You guys you guys remember when he was like, oh, yeah, the migrants, send them to New York City. We're a sanctuary city. Come on, all the migrants, we can handle them. This is New York. We got a brand. And then so Texas and Florida did. Not a lot at first, but, but they did. And then all of a sudden he was like, whoa, what are you doing? You can't just send all your migrants here. Oh, my God, we got a brand. And now you got it's filled with migrants. It's like, whoa. I mean... I, you asked, you received, and now you're like, oh, you're literally as bad as those assholes on Martha's Vineyard. So the historic indictment of the first sitting mayor of New York City is expected to be unsealed Thursday by U.S. Attorney Damian Williams, according to sources. The news was first reported by the New York Times. So... By, at, at the time that I'm recording this, it is in the evening on Wednesday. So many of you might be watching this as that indictment's already being unsealed. Just, uh, just a, a fun fact. Adams will surrender to authorities early next week, sources said. This is absolutely um, catastrophic for his administration, his political career. His life in general, um, he's he he might, he might very well be in a whole heap of trouble. I always knew that if I stood my ground for New Yorkers, that I would be a target, and a target I became. Adams said in a statement to the Post. Now this guy's also a former police caption, uh, captain, captain, a caption. Um, so he he should uh, know a thing or two about the law. Just saying. Um, if I am charged, I am innocent, and I will fight this with every ounce of my strength and spirit. A uh, rep for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, which is prosecuting the case, declined to comment. The SDNY, the Southern District uh, of New York, is one of the most corrupt and leftist and um, well, corrupt is, is the good word in the country. You also have D.C. They're pretty gosh darn corrupt and leftist as well. But the Southern District of New York um, is, is the worst, if not tied for the worst. Sources close to Adams said late Wednesday that the mayor had not been told of the expected indictment. So 
This was a surprise. Surprise! You're being indicted! He must have felt like shit after that happened. Following the news of the indictment, cops set up barriers outside Grace, Gracie Mansion, the mayor's home, and forced reporters back from the house. Details about the exact accusations remained unclear, so he's indicted. The grand jury said, uh, there's, there's enough evidence to move forward here, but we don't know what it's for. But these accusations, they are believed to be connected to the allegations of the Turkish government illegally funneling money into his mayoral campaign, according to sources. Well, that, that might be very bad for him. It's also uncertain how the indictment is related to a sweeping set of September 4th raids that targeted several high-profile Adams administration officials, which sent City Hall into a week's-long tailspin as news reports emerged of investigations focused on alleged corruption by the mayor's inner circle. Well, I mean, they've got a brand. I'll, I'll, never, I'll never let that go. The, the smugness, the arrogance of this guy. By Wednesday morning, word had spread that a senior City Hall official soon would be indicted, sending staff into a panic throughout the day. Unbeknownst to anybody, it would be Eric Adams, the top cheese, the top, the big cheese, the top dog. The indictment's unveiling will come after federal prosecutors recently demanded City Hall cough up all communications between the Adams administration, Turkey, and five other foreign countries amid the long-running probe. I don't know about you, but I think that maybe the mayor of New York should just stick to New York and not worry about getting money from other foreign governments. That's obviously fraught with disaster, as, uh, as we're watching unfold here. Like, sure, New York is a world-class city. I mean, is it, though? Is it now, really? Maybe after uh, Donald Trump spruced it up, it was a world-class city. But now you've got rats the size of small dogs. You've got migrants running amok. Kids are just killing and shooting and looting and whatever. It's like a world-class shithole. Maybe don't fuck around with foreign government's money. But then again, what do I know? Adams 2021 campaign had previously been served with subpoenas for information on his campaign donations, specifically those that had ties to Turkey, sources told Post. Wouldn't that be interesting if he was uh, low-key doing the bidding of Turkey? That'd be a very interesting thing. So sprawling record requests then came in July uh, with a batch of subpoenas seeking details on all interactions between admin officials and Israel, or sorry, between admin officials and Israel, China, Qatar, South Korea, and Uzbekistan. Why is he fucking around with Uzbekistan? That doesn't make any sense to me. Adams, City Hall, and his election committee were also hit with grand jury subpoenas the same month with the feds obtaining text messages, documents, and other communications and materials. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York had remained tight-lipped about the probe ever since it burst into view last November with a dramatic raid on uh, Top Adams fundraiser, Brianna Suggs, Brooklyn home. That raid which sought evidence of straw donor kickbacks by the Turkish government and the Williamsburg-based construction company KSK Construction Group into Adams' mayoral campaign prompted Hisner, that's quite the name, um, to scurry back from a much-publicized White House meeting on the migrant crisis. It, it sounds like this guy is in a lot of rubble. It really does seem like he is in the middle of a very large entanglement. I think that's what Jada Pinka, Pinkett Smith would call it, an entanglement. Um, but this is with money and corruption and, and foreign governments. That's bad news bears, especially if you've done anything. Now, I don't know if 
Eric Adams has done anything to piss off the, the federal government. If there's anybody in the deep state or in the establishment or whatever that wants him gone, but if there is, it sounds like they have their uh, claws into him and uh, he might be on the way out because you know, if you think about Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, he, um, the governor, he was, uh, what, hugging girls, kissing them on the cheek or whatever Italian greeting he was doing or whatever. And that was enough to turf him from his governorship. I mean, forget about the 15, whatever thousand people he killed with COVID. I mean, forget about it. It was the uh, patting a chick on the bum. That was the, that was the thing that got him out. And it's because they wanted him out. So for Eric Adams to be in, t uh, in this entanglement of federal, um, like foreign federal money and, and whatnot, that's, it sounds like maybe he's in a whole heap of trouble. So the feds subsequently raided the homes of city hall staffer, uh, Rana, Rana, Abasova, and Cenk Okal, a former Turkish Airlines executive who worked on Adam's transition team. A week later, Adam had his own phones and iPads seized by FBI agents on the streets of Manhattan. Meanwhile, another aide, Winnie Greco, had her Bronx home raided by FBI agents in February though it wasn't clear at the time whether it was tied to the turkey probe. Isner has long denied any wrongdoing. It takes a great deal of discipline not to say anything when you know you've done nothing wrong, Adam said in August when asked about the mayoral campaign investigation. He is a cocky son of a gun, isn't he? We've got a brain. Oh, fuck you, Eric Adams. What do you know about anything? You've... I wouldn't say entirely ruined the city because you've had help doing it, but you've uh, you've you've definitely left your indelible mark on the city of New York. It is a much worse place than what you found it, and you found it in a really bad condition. The indictment marks the first time a New York City mayor has faced charges in 170 years, according to uh, historical research done by the city. All recent mayors from David Dinkins to Bill de Blasio have faced some type of corruption investigation, but all those probes ended with, at worst, lower-level aides being slapped with charges. Former Mayor Jimmy Walker famously resigned in 1932 while under investigation, but he was never charged. Bombshell indictment will come amid a spate of other federal investigations targeting City Hall and Big Apple officials that came to light in a stunning series of raids on his and her's top lieutenants, closest political allies, and most trusted aides of late. Oh, man. So federal prosecutors in Manhattan are behind many of the probes, but, like the mayoral campaign investigation, have remained tight-lipped about the uh, aims potential charges, and how the probes might entwine with each other. No one to date has been charged or accused of any wrongdoing in the other investigations. And so that's, that is basically that. Eric Adams. And so it is September 25th in the evening, September 26th in the morning. This indictment gets unsealed. And uh, I guess that will probably be a whole new video about what it is the feds think Eric Adams actually did. Um, so I guess that's that's going to probably be something. I guess that's my video for tomorrow, I guess. Anyways, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this. If you could, please like, subscribe, share, help me grow this, this channel. Um, make sure you are followed on um, YouTube. At third railify on Rumble at third railify Twitter at third railify. Anyways, thank you again. I, I I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. We have a brand. New York has a brand.